Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So I'm coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a bedroom in 3ds Max using V-Ray. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference over here. Let's go into rendering, view image file. Let's go into this and let's take a reference over here. So after taking a reference over here, what I'll be doing over here is like, just a sec, I'll slightly, I'll just crop this, okay. So rendering, view image file and open this reference over here. So as you can see over here, we have opened this reference. Let's start modeling it. So very first of all, uh, you need to see the size of this image over here. So let's click on it. That's 1048 by 694. So let's go into this rendering, render setup 1048 by 694. We'll set it. That's it. Okay. So now how we are going to start? We are going to start with the wall first. First we'll take a plane. Let's take a plane over here. Let's draw a plane over here. Okay. Okay. After that, what we'll be doing over here is like, let's go to the top view over here. Let's go into AEC extended and let's take a wall over here. So you can activate, you can use the snap option also over here. For that, you can use the snap options over here. You can easily use this snap options over here after that I can slightly just scale it up so definitely we'll be setting up the camera afterwards over here so press F4 so convert to editable poly over here after converting this to editable poly, let's go into the vertices, select the vertices and we can slightly just push this up. So first we'll go with this part over here. So let's use a swift loop or you can just select this edges over here and let's give a connect over here and let's slightly push this up over here in this way. so once you're done with this we can go into this polygons over here and let's slightly push this out a bit let's again go into this swift loop over here and let's add something over here for the big windows you can say kind of a doors so let's select this again go over here let's add over here so what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be creating that stuff individually 
so so let's select this polygons over here select this both and let's give bridge over here so let me just save this file once over here onto the desktop bedroom underscore one after that let's go into this view over here let's again go into standard let's take a box over here and let's draw something like this and let's just drag it over here in this way after you have created this let's convert to editable poly so let's just add the loops over here all right so once you've added it let's select this polygons and let's give a bit of inset over here let's use a bit of inset click ok over here so select this slightly adjust it accordingly so select this polygons and let's slightly give a bit of bevel of it and just push it inside and click ok that's it all right so i can do it in this way after that what we are going to do now over here is like select this let's again give one swift loop over here let's just give a swift loop over here select the polygons and let's extrude this out a bit that's it so once you have extruded out this part you can slightly push this up and if you really require to push this more up you can go with that all right so let's go into this so let's select this so very first of all what i'll be doing over here is like i'll be selecting this and let's give slight a bit of inset to it let's select this edges over here So let's again give one more loop over here so let's select this polygon once again and let's slightly extrude this out accordingly a bit that's it all right so let's go into this edge again select the all the edges over here so if you want to generate this details you can definitely generate this first select this much part and if you want to give uh, more connects you can go with more connects over here that can also be done over here or else you can select the whole thing over here 
and if you want in this way you can go in this way also all right it's all up to you how you want it so we can let's undo this we can make it individually also that would also be fine if you are going to make this individually that also you can do it not a problem or if you want that this details i don't want to generate it from here i want that to put something else over here that would be also much better so what i'll do over here is like i'll just go into this and slightly i'll make a smaller rectangle stuff and i'll slightly push it over here in this way i'll rotate it to 90 degree so that can be done in this way also so this are all your choice if you want this to make in a different form that also you can do it so i'll slightly just push it in this way and definitely i'll scale it more and i'll scale it more over here so let's duplicate this but there are also a uh, bigger chances that the file might get more heavier because of this so make sure what we can do over here is like we can keep it at a distance so that won't give you much impact much better so that can be done in this way so rest of it we can slightly delete that stuff all right so this details can be uh, easily generated in this way as you want after that once you are done if you want it we can group this we can just group this so it would be easy over here ungroup it and group this only this part we can just uh, group those areas which you really require to work over here in this way after that i can i can go into this i can select this edges and i don't need so many connects we can give few connects all right so i can just slightly select this all and i can go into this i'll just insert it by polygons a bit not much click okay and i'll slightly extrude it to a very very lesser extent so all right that's how we can do it in this way so guys if you any doubts please write it in the comment section over here as you can see how we have uh, generated this 
stuff over here so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial